kind of, you know, how I do. Okay, guys, so today is a Friday. We're on the 2nd of December, and this is a day that every other Friday I spend, um, I have lunch with my daughter, and we go and, oh, yeah, I have dinner with my daughter, and we go to different places around the city. So we're here at Clark Street Market. We've come. We've come high here. We came to a crepe restaurant once. Yeah, it was Juliana's crepes. It was really, really good. But look how beautiful that tree is. Look at that. It's really, really tall. It kind of reminds me of that tree that um. Pamela decorated recently for one of her clients. The bow is huge. So we're going to walk around in here. Take you around. This is our first time actually coming to this location. Mm. Food smells good. After here, we was going to another restaurant, but uh oh, that's okay. Look, it's a Hop City wine and beer. And they have everything all decorated for the holidays. They having what? Oh, a wine or a beer tasting. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. I must be really, really hungry. Look how it looks out there. Well, they, what's that? They have crepes? Yeah, they're making crepes in there. Handmade croissants, of quiches, tarts, galette scones. Oh wow. They're all made by hand. I don't like crepes. Well yeah, we found out you didn't like crepes. Oh look at this. All these French pastries. Have we had an apple? An apple tart? No, it's an apple cheddar, cheddar turnover. Mm -mm. What is that? Mm -hmm. It's sort of like an apple pie. Oh, no. But it has. Oh, but look at that. Look at that quiche. That's a veggie quiche. That looks so good. Look at these cookies right here, homemade. They're 75 cents each. What's that? Oh, that's an Earl Grey cookie. You wanna try one? That's a tea. Um, when we get one, we get to try one. Yeah, try the lavender lemon. They have some meringues, rosemary biscotti. They have hot dogs. Oh, actually, they have like all types of like salami and different types of um, meats. And this one, you select your meat and you can make your own hot dogs or your own sausage. This is pretty though. It's lavender. 
tea tree. Mm. No more messy soaps. Look at this. This is really good. Charcoal. I'm about to share with you guys that mask that I use that's made of the, um, the charcoal. That charcoal mask is really good. It's unscented. It's a chef soap made with coffee and coffee grounds. Mmm, it smells good too. What's that? Oh, they're sugar scrubs. This smells good. Ooh, that does smell good. That one's real light. Mary mint for the holidays. Oh, that's really nice. It smells just like peppermint. Yes. And this is sugar and spice. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Do you have any questions about anything okay? I sure will. This one right here, the avocado facial bar. Which one, these? No, I just like this. I like stuff like this. Which one is that one? Ooh, that smells good. How much for the unwrapped soap? It's eight dollars. Well, you want one? Hmm. You want one? Mm mm. Mm. Look at that one. That's a lavender one. You know, like that lavender is like soothing and relaxing. That was relaxing. That that smelled delicious. That was really sweet. Oh my, at the right place. Hi. Oh, I'm a vlogger. <laughs> a vlogger. Um, lifestyle, different um, DIYs, home improvement, things like that. Yes. This is right up here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Could do something on two toys that don't stay in your furniture. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. That would be a hot topic. Like, for instance, Look at definitely don't go for these. These are these are very much an outdoor treat. Mm-hmm. You know, because they're so greasy and they have like the marrow inside. Yes. What about um? She's a senior. Her dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She she does have to get her teeth pulled some of her teeth pulled out. She does, but she still has them. Yeah, she yes. does. Too. Does she eat like dry kibble? Um mm -hmm. yeah. But we get her the salmon. Um, like boy Okay. Do you give do you give her things like bully sticks to move on? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do her dental sticks. Dental sticks and she'll eat those? Yeah. Oh great. Well then she could definitely handle something like this. These are our be our top seller. Okay. No hides because um, you know the trend is away from wool hide. Mm -hmm. Wool hide has the potential to get stuck in a dog's digestive system. So what I love about these treats is one is I've never had a client come back and say their dog didn't love it. Okay. Um, the ingredients are really clean. So basically, it's salmon or beef or chicken, banana, mm -hmm. rice flour, and olive oil. Those are the only ingredients. Oh really? So it's a chew. 
so it's going to be great for their gums. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to feel like I'm a dog. I got a bug. Yes. Bug. They're going to eat the whole thing. It's yeah. not going to stain your furniture. It's not going to get stuck in their stomachs. And it's got good quality and it's food. Oh, cool. Yeah. So this, because she, she she's drooling a lot now. Yeah, she okay. is drooling. So that will be, so as she um, slobbers or whatever, it'll get softer. As she chews, so she's it'll on it. softer and then she'll eat the whole thing, yeah. Yes. Or slowly. Yeah. Yes. And what about that gingerbread like that? Oh, yeah. That can work just fine, too. This is like a fun. Um, That'll be cute to go in that's her. That's cute. It'll be fun, like a Christmas. So Christmas. Christmas. Absolutely. Yes. That would be cute to go in her basket. Huh? No, Christmas cards. China is a nut over cookie. Oh, look I mean, this there. is like Christmas, but I just want to know. So, this is a company, Hans Brown. They're based in Savannah. Mm -hmm. And I love that they use like a lot of sear stalker. It's like really southern. Yes, yeah, very southern. And then the bow ties are on Velcro, so you can take them off. Oh, cool. Which is really nice. You want to just make it like a special occasion for them to wear the bow tie with the flower. And they wash really well, and then there's some matching uh, leashes as well. Those are really cute. I love this one. Yeah, that's the Christmas one. Yes. Yeah. Whoop. What's that? Oh. You know, bells drive her crazy. So? Oh, look at this. Really, really cute, guys. It's a really nice store. So if you're over here, we're at Pet Works at Woodcock Street. Need anything for your pet for the holidays? So we're gonna go to have our dinner, and this is illegal foods. Lyric here. Oh, wait, I need to get my. Oh. We're in the North Highland area. My daughter is such a foodie and she likes trying different places. Oh, okay. And this is another restaurant here. I'm gonna have to bring Mr. B to this one. <laughs> okay. Look at this. So I saw, um, picture of the food in here and it looked delicious. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the menu. Now I saw something already on here that I wanted. I think it was the blue cheese. Hi, how are you? I think it was the blue cheese that we saw. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's part of it. <laughs> Ooh, the cast iron mac and cheese. Yes, we did see oh, that. I have a question. Okay, look at this mac and cheese right here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good guys. And it was cooked in this cast iron skillet, a mini cast iron skillet. You know what? This would be cute for to have at home and make individual size mac and cheese. But I'm gonna share this with my daughter. But I wanted to show you guys what this looked like. So I ordered um, a burger. It's called the Nate. And my yeah, the Nasty Nate. And it has blue cheese and all this other stuff on there. Chili and oh my god, I love blue cheese. And then my daughter ordered. We ordered a, um, some. Oniyaki, what kind of fries? Okonomiyaki. fries. And she got, oh, the buffalo style chicken sandwich. So, 
We're gonna go ahead and dig in this, but I want to show it. I know it's very cheesy. All right, guys, this is my nasty Nate. Look at that burger. Oh my I feel God. Like I really do feel like Japan has been such a horrible influence in my, when I eat. I like every know. time I'm like, ah, take This is the ono, Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Okay, my Japanese is off, but I have a Japanese expert with me. So it's the Okonomiyaki. There we go. And she is getting her buffalo chicken sandwich. It's, it's gonna be so good. Blue cheese. Yes, blue cheese and it smells just like it. It does? Yeah, it, just, it smells just like this. It's how it's supposed to smell. Wow. I like that bowl. It was Japanese mayo. Is it? With Japanese mayo? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That bowl by itself. That presentation is awesome. I should okay. teach you how to make it. You know how to make it? Oh, wow. Look at that, China. You need a picture of that one. Yes. Um, I'm good. I'm that is, oh my gosh. Now that is a chicken sandwich. I think I got it. It's more than I thought. I didn't think it was going to be that It has blue cheese on that one too? Yes. It's like, look at that. Oh my god, that is so good. Okay, we're gonna try to eat all of this.